Project L has been a game that I have been anticipating for the entirety of 2023 and really ever since it has been announced and thankfully and happily today Riot Games has announced the full name for the game and they're sharing a nice little video talking about the details of the game and some things we can upcomingly expect for the game's title in terms of a launch for possibly this year. I haven't seen the video myself, so I'm gonna actually take a look at it now, and you're gonna get like a live reaction, cause I'm not gonna lie, I'm really excited for this game, and I just can't wait to lab and get my hands on this game. I have already signed up online for the closed beta without even watching their live stream that they did today. I'm just excited. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Let's see what Tom and Nick Cannon have to offer for us and the rest of the Project L team, or from the name's title, the 2XKO team has to say to us. Hey all, Tom all right. here, executive producer of Riot's upcoming TV2 Tag Fighter 2XKO. We've got a few things to catch you up on. Yes, you do. Say it to me. Look at how good this game looks, bro. The graphics have improved tremendously, man. We got Yasuo in the pool. Echo's fully fleshed out. Can we see Jinx again? 2XKO, baby. We finally have a name. Project L is now 2XKO. Here's why we're making the switch. This year, we're entering a new phase of development. This Our music game team has grown significantly since we last talked, and things are really ramping up. We still have a lot of game left to build. Okay. We're far enough along that it's time to start sharing more with you over the coming year. Over the coming year. Here we go. We're building an always evolving fighting game for the FTC, and there's so much to be excited for. This game. Look so at Alawi. Still have to figure out. Look at and the so map. We're gonna need your help. She looks so good. Oh my God. We brought the game to Evo to get your feedback, and we're extremely grateful for all the time and support you gave us there. Since then, we've continued talking directly with the fighting game community all over the world, and we're learning a ton through direct feedback online, hands-on play test, okay, and going to events like Evo. Yes, please be here next year or this year. 24, we want to take that community focus to the next level and give you all more opportunities to play the game and give yes, feedback. yes, yes. So here's what we're doing next. Yes, how do I You're play this see game? Us pop up with a playable demo in a bunch of places across the world. As a reminder, we'll be at Evo Japan in April. If you're attending, come check it out and tell us what you think. What about this Evo? And we won't just be looking at major events, so keep an eye out for more announcements soon. For those of you that can't make it in person, the team will be sharing some of our development plans online to get your perspective. We won't be ready to announce everything, but we want to talk with you directly. Okay. So follow the new 2XKO channels and keep in touch. You're going to see a lot more of us this year. And we think that this community first approach is the most effective way to make 2XGO the best game it could be at launch and beyond. 2023 was us in Project L heads down mode. With okay. A really valuable check in at Evo. Which was really respectable. 2024 will be about getting you more involved with events, updates, and yes, maybe even some at home play testing later. This maybe, year. just maybe. 2025, we're aiming to fully launch on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series S and X. And PC. Oh. What you can do right now is head over to play2xko.com. I've registered to yep. register for testing. This sign up is specifically for upcoming play tests, so you'll need to sign up again even if you've registered your email before. We've come a long way since first announcing this game, but we're so excited for this. I am chapter. too. I am Thanks too. Thanks for watching and talk to you soon. And that's all we get. That's all we go. No, no. Don't do that to me, Tom. Come on. Don't do that to me, man. Come on, man. There's gotta, there's gotta be a little, 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 little something more you can tell me, man. Come on, man. Oh, come on, dog. As y'all can clearly see, I'm very excited for this game. I mean, when I saw Project L, I always thought, you know, this is the perfect game for me personally. I love fighting games. I'm loving Street Fighter right now. Picking up Guilty Gear was the best decision I ever made because it really pushed me into the fighting game scene. And I finally have a Riot game that I can be confident and i can be confident in this game i feel like i can destroy the scene i'm so ready to lab i am so ready for this game's release obviously we're a little ways off with them predicting that this game will drop somewhere in 2025 but that just means that we'll have another great year to look forward to i mean think about it we got a lot of bangers dropping in 25 25 and we haven't even hit it yet we got gta 6 which is supposedly marked for a release and then we got project l on top of it we are eating we are eating the fighting game community is eating today i just really like how in-depth riot games is going with this you know they're being really open with their dev dive 
diaries and just trying to get in touch with the community and spread their name and knowledge out about this game as far as possible and i really hope that they're available this evo i know tom in the video said that they were going to come to evo japan i would like for them to come to this current evo since that is the evo that i am going to try my best my hardest my 100 percent effort to participate in so if i could do it on my first trip flying out i would love it and it would be so much fun and hopefully it's not a shadow drop that occurs we just get a nice demo with almost everything completed maybe some malawi gameplay but i would love to know what y'all think about project 2xko down in the comments down below do you think it's gonna be good bad do you like riot's approach towards talking about this fighting game i would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below and as always if you like this video you want to see more hit that like and the subscribe button i appreciate the support and without further ado peace out